Welcome home, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe if you would like to. I literally cringe every time I say that, which I never do, but it is almost the end of the year and my biggest goal of 2020 um, is to hit 200,000 subscribers. We still have a month and a bit left, so it would be amazing if you could subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It would literally mean the world to me. Today I am bringing you quite possibly the most epic thrift haul ever. I have been thrifting like crazy, basically trying to redo my entire wardrobe because I just felt like so many of the pieces in my closet I just didn't really like. So with that being said, I have actually been selling so much of my clothes on my Instagram. So if you don't want to miss out on my little closet sales that I do every now and then, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I've literally been getting rid of like everything that I own. So there are some goodies on there. So I've been getting most of my pieces either from Depop or from the various like local thrift stores, either like vintage-y kind of stores that are a little bit more pricey but have like a better selection or like charity shops like Goodwill, um, et cetera, like that, those kind of places. So I figured I would start with the pieces that I got from Depop just because I feel like there's fewer of them. Also, if you wanna follow me on Depop, I haven't been posting a lot of clothes on there. I've been mostly doing Instagram sales, but I might start going back to doing Depop. So if you wanna follow me on there, I'll just link that down below because I kind of forget what my username is. But Let's just get into it. So some fall and winter staples that I really wanted to get were more like oversized jumpers and sweat. I don't know why I'm saying like British terms today. What am I doing? I called my closet a wardrobe. Why am I calling sweaters jumpers? I don't know what's happening. I think I've been watching like British YouTubers or something. Also my boyfriend's from New Zealand, so that could be it. But sorry about that. I'm American, unfortunately. Um, okay, so I have wanted to stock up on like oversized sweatshirts. God, I almost said it again. And cardigans, because I just honestly don't really own very much winter fall attire because, hello, I live in San Diego, Southern California. It hardly ever gets cold enough to wear that kind of stuff, but right now it's actually pretty freezing. I'm sure you can tell by what I'm wearing, <laughs> but it's been really cold the past couple of weeks. Um, I decided to get this, this oversized sweatshirt. So it has like this deer on it. I don't really know. I just really like the color. It's dark green. It's just super comfy. It's a really good staple. I've basically been like throwing these types of sweatshirts on with a pair of jeans and some sneakers and calling it a fit which it is, and it's like the easiest outfit in the world. So definitely a staple of mine, oversized sweatshirt. So like I said, I wanted to get some cardigans. So I also bought this little like floral embroidered cardigan off of Depop. I just think it's super cute. Um, it's very like kind of grandma style, which I kind of like, it's kind of a vibe right now. So yeah, I just got that. I've never been one to wear like lots of skirts or dresses but I've kind of wanted to like change up my style a little bit or just kind of experiment with different things. So I ordered a couple of skirts from Depop. The first one being like the basic Instagram model, um, you know, TikTok white tennis skirt, the pleated one. The only thing is it's a little bit big and I just feel like it's like an awkward length. So I kind of have mixed feelings about these skirts. So I got that. We'll see if I actually end up enjoying it. And then I also got this skirt from Depop, which is kind of just like a more flowy skirt with a little tie on it. Again, I kind of feel like it's, this one's very comfortable. Um, and it fits me, I just feel like the length is weird. I'm 5'3", so everything's always an awkward length on me. It's always too long and just doesn't fit me right. So we will see, maybe I can get them tailored or something. Maybe we'll try them out and I'll learn to love them. So I got this like men's extra large, really light blue linen shirt. I have worn this thing so much. I just throw it on top of like any single outfit and it just throws it all together. It just totally works. So really love this. She is definitely gonna come back out in the summertime. Quite possibly the best steal that I got from Depop are these vans. They're the old school suede vans and they're basically almost brand new. I've worn them quite a bit, so they have like a little bit of wear and tear on them, but when I bought them, they're like absolutely brand new. They just have like this little blue stain, which I honestly don't really care. Like I'm the type of person that if my clothes has like stains and rips in them, I will like still wear them. <laughs> I just don't really care. Um, but yeah, they're like perfectly my size, the be most beautiful like neutral beige-ish color, basically the exact type of vans that I wanted. And they were only $15. Like, essentially brand new vans in my size for 15 bucks so 
It was quite a steal. I'm really stoked about these. I wear them all the time. They're like the perfect essential sneakers. Okay, last but not least is this little like baguette bag. These kind of like short shoulder bags are super in right now. I think that is it for the Depop stuff. So I guess I'm just gonna go into the Goodwill stuff. First thrifted bottoms are of course a pair of jeans. So they're these vintage high-waisted Canyon River Blues basically look exactly like Levi's. Um, they're like straight legged kind of dark wash, which I don't, I don't really own any dark wash jeans. So that's why I kind of wanted to get a pair. And pretty much any time I go to the thrift store and I try on jeans and they fit me like nine times out of 10, I will buy them just because I feel like it's very rare to find a pair of jeans that like fits me really well. I also got these free people pants which really sad about because the button broke off the other day. I literally sneezed and the button popped off and they're not even like that tight. I don't know what happened, but I think I still have the button. So I'm gonna have to sew that back on. But these are like my favorite pair of Free People pants. They're actually covered in so much rabbit hair. I'm so sorry, but um, I have two or I did. I had two other pairs of these exact pants that I actually had bought new from Free People. And I was so stoked when I saw these because they're like in my size and they're like the perfect kind of wide leg pants that just go with everything. So I'm really excited to have a black pair. Okay, I actually picked these up like two days ago. So they are these um, like stretchy kind of trousery pants. They're kind of like cropped. They're originally from H&M. And I just kind of wanted to get some more printed pants just because I feel like I didn't have that many. So these are just kind of nice um, for the fall and winter. Like I said, with like a pair of boots, you got yourself an outfit. I was literally wearing these this morning. So these are these like really flowy patterned pants with like an elastic waist. I really love these because they're so comfortable, so flowy, super cute. Um, they make me feel like really tall and like elegant. I don't know what it is, but I love wearing those pants with like a nice pair of boots and a sweater. It's a great fit. Next thing I got is this embroidered kind of long, sort of like cream colored skirt. And the reason I really bought this, which first of all, it fits me really well, but the brand is Joseph Magnin or the designer is Joseph Magnin. And I actually looked that brand up and it's like a very, um, kind of nice like vintage brand that they kind of sell for a lot. So I got this at Goodwill for pretty cheap and I decided to get it because I do really like it. I think the skirt's really cute. It's like an actual vintage uh, skirt, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, I got a lot of tops. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Um, the first one is just like this basic cropped tee. So it just looks like this. I really just wanted some more basics in my wardrobe because I tend to buy things that are really cool looking or unique, but then I don't have anything to pair it with because I don't have any like basic things. So wanted to get more basic pieces. Okay, I also got this really, really cute little tie front lacy black crop top. It was not originally a crop top, but I did cut the bottom off. So I just think this is really cute. Perfect for like date nights, going out. Um, I just, I'm kind of not really into lace that much, but I just tried it on and I fell in love with it. So I really loved that top. I also got this black cropped sweater top, which I think is really cute. It goes so well with a pair of jeans. It's also like incredibly comfortable and soft. And I just think that it's a great kind of like basic fall winter crop top. This is sort of random. Um, I think I got this more because of the material of it because it's kind of like a linen-y feel but it's not really long enough to be a dress, but also it's like too long to be a top. So I might cut it into a crop top for summer because I, for some reason, just really love the material of it. I just, the like the shape or the length of it's just kind of awkward. So I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Okay, I also got this little cropped sweater, ca cropped cardigan kind of thing. It's super lightweight and I just think that this is also another great staple. I've seen these a lot, like the cropped cardigan tops. Um, I also got this lime green long sleeved cardigan, just like something you can throw over. And yeah, I also really like this color. This like lime green color is really vibing with the lime green color. This top is definitely more for summer. It's like this very lightweight white top, very flowy. 
I was thinking when I bought it, it would be great as like a cover up going to the beach. And when I bought it, which was like the end of summer, I did wear this quite a lot, but now it's like a little bit too cold for this, but I'll definitely whip this back out when spring comes around. Okay, this top is from Madewell and it's actually like a wool plaid sort of like kind of cropped a shirt. It is super warm. I love the fit of it. I just feel like it's very flattering. It's very comfortable, like I said, very warm, and I also just think the pattern is really cute. I think I needed a little bit of plaid for the fall slash winter, because I didn't really have any, and I'm usually not the biggest fan, but when it comes to like flannel kind of tops, I really love it. Okay, I also got this kind of like long-sleeved lightweight top with these cool colored sleeves that are kind of like balloon style and I don't really know like it's not like cropped or anything I guess it's not fully my style but I just really liked it I love the feel of it I love the material I think I've started to shop more based on the material and like the feel of the clothing as opposed to just the fit of it and the style of it um because I really like material that just feels good on you, you know, like something that's comfortable and soft. So I'm definitely a big fan of this top. I just think it's pretty unique. I don't really have anything else like it, so I thought it was a good idea to grab it. Okay, one more cardigan. So I got this blue kind of cropped cardigan with these really big kind of puffy sleeves, the little like crochet detailing. It also has these cute, um, like these cute little silver buttons. I just think, again, it's kind of like that grandma style, but it's very in right now. Love the blue color. Okay, another thing I got is another big, cozy, comfy pullover. I really love this one because of the flowers on it. It's purple. It literally says works of nature naturally. I think it's so cute. I wear this and the other sweater like every single day. I just wake up and like walk around our freezing cold house just bundled up in my cozy little sweaters and it's just super nice. Usually when I'm working from home, I'm like wearing one of these and some like sweatpants or jeans or something. Okay, so I showed you the linen shirt that I got from Depop, but I also thrifted two other ones. Um, so I got this Banana Republic one that is kind of this like dark salmon-y sort of um, reddish burnt orange color. I don't know. It's like a very interesting color. I really like it. Again, these are just pieces that I throw on top of whatever outfit I'm wearing and it just throws everything together. I literally want one of these in like every single color. So right now I have like four. I have a white one, black, I have a white, a salmon, a light blue, and a black one. So I got this black one as well. This one is kind of nicer. Black's just like kind of a little bit more of a dressier color. So a lot of the time, if it's not that cold <laughs> and I want to kind of dress up and not wear a jacket, I'll throw this one on over whatever I'm wearing. And yeah, this is probably my favorite one that I wear the most. I also feel like it's like the most lightweight one, but obviously it doesn't really do the trick for winter time. Okay, I also picked up a flannel. I think I got, I think I got all of these from the men's department because I like the oversized flannel-y, oversized like long-sleeved um, linen shirt feel. But I got this cute flannel. I just really liked the colors. I kind of like the lighter pastel-y type flannels. So this is again kind of kind of the same concept as the linen shirt but i feel like this is like the actual fall winter version is a flannel instead of an oversized linen shirt so okay so i only thrifted one jacket i think and it is a leather jacket kind of a long oversized sort of leather coat i've never owned a leather jacket before i have always wanted to i saw this at the thrift store and I really wanted to get it. So yeah, so now I have a leather jacket and I'm really excited. I feel like this is such a staple as well. Okay, so probably my favorite article of clothing to exist are jumpsuits because they're the easiest thing ever. They're literally just an entire outfit in one. I think a lot of the time they can be really flattering and they're super comfy, super cozy. I guess the only thing that sucks is when you have to pee, you have to take the whole thing off. But other than that, I'm a huge fan of jumpsuits. Also think that they're great for fall and winter. So I managed to thrift a couple of them. This one is, it's kind of hard to show you, it's very wrinkled, but it's like this olive green long jumpsuit and it has like these little straps. I just think it's really cute. You can layer on like a, um, like a, like a long sleeved bodysuit or something underneath it, throw on some boots and a jacket and this is like your go-to outfit. I also found this really cute blue one. I love the material. Oh my god, I still have the tag. It costs $13. What a score. Yeah, so I got this like darkish blue 
really flowy, wide-legged kind of jumpsuit. This one again is like super comfortable. I don't know, I just love them so much. They're like the easiest thing ever. I just feel like so fun and comfortable in them. I don't know. I got a couple of dresses, which I'm really happy about. Um, this one is the coolest color. It's like this, I don't know, just like this really nice purpley lavender color. It's actually an Urban Renewal, so it's from Urban Outfitters and feels just like linen. I don't know if there's a tag. Oh yeah, <laughs> it is 100% linen. Linen's like my favorite material ever. So this kind of like baby dollish dress, I am a huge fan of. Throw it on with like some tall boots and a jacket. I also got this like kind of fancier, definitely out of my comfort zone dress, but I love the color, love the sleeves, love like all the details, the fit of it. I guess it's like a little bit long, which is to be expected, but I just think it's so cute. I think I wore this in one of my videos actually um, that I filmed, but love this color. I think that these two are gonna be like huge spring staples, especially because of the colors like hello. This is like so spring. So I'm really excited to wear these when the weather gets a little bit warmer. Okay, last but not least. Oh wait, actually JK, we still have some more. <laughs> Um, last clothing item though, and again, very out of my comfort zone, is a maxi dress, floral maxi dress with kind of this like cowl neck. Um, it's kind of this like silkyish material that's really soft. I love the fit of this dress. I usually don't go for maxi dresses just because I'm so short and they tend to make me look shorter. Like I look like I'm just wearing like a giant bag. <laughs> but this dress with like a sweater on the top and some rain boots, Ah, so cute. I love this dress so much. I haven't actually like worn it in public yet, but we will do that soon. We have a couple accessories. So I got this bag um, from a Goodwill. Again, I just wanted like another, another nice like shoulder bag. I like the beige neutral color as I feel like it goes with anything. It also has so much room in here. Like I could literally fit everything. I don't really know if it's cute. Like I said, I only own like two purses, so I, I don't really know how to tell if a purse is cute or not, but I don't really care. <laughs> okay, last thing, probably one of my better scores from this haul. I don't even know if I tried them on. I think I just saw them, looked at the size that they were and just like immediately put them in my cart and the rest was history. So they're like these super cool green gum boots. I've never owned a pair of gumboots. Maybe I did when I was like three, but I've always wanted a pair of these. I can just like slosh around in puddles. Like, I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm working on a farm or something, you know what I mean? Really excited to style those boots this winter time. Okay, so that is everything that I got the past couple of months, basically during quarantine, because I don't think I've done a thrift haul since quarantine. So those are all of the fun little things that I've collected. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and thrifting all of these things. I had so much fun finding all of these things. It's always so exciting when you see something that you love in a thrift store. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you would like to subscribe, please subscribe so I can hit 200,000 before the end of the year. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.